It was to be no easy task to improve upon the frame that has taken the champions of both Sky and Movistar to numerous victories, seen Wiggins pedal into yellow, and move the world champion sprinter Mark Cavendish to claim this frame is perfect after his ride aboard the Dogma 2. Pinarello's engineers asked their partners, Torai, for collaboration in improving an industry-leading 60 HM1K carbon fiber. The fruit of the combined efforts is the completely new and exclusive 65-ton HM1K carbon fiber that is stronger, more rigid, and more resistant than any previous variety. The Pinarello lab has worked diligently to produce a frame that is built for both mechanical and electronic transmissions. The new Dogma 65.1 Think 2 is designed for perfect integration for electronic groups with internal cable routing designed specifically for their particular cable widths, both for Campagnolo and Shimano systems. Fork and frame together as one. Introducing the Onda 2. The form of the new Onda 2 improves aerodynamics significantly, eliminating the empty space between fork and down tube effectively creating fork and frame that act as one body. The new form is 19% more rigid when analyzing only the form and geometry, the only verifiable data that can be effectively analyzed, and it becomes even more rigid when taking into account that it is constructed with our new Toraika 65 HM1K carbon with nanoalloy technology. Onda 2 is strong, resistant, and reactive with a special profile to ensure even more rigidity. The right leg is a bit larger with a different structure than that of the left one in an effort to compensate for the asymmetry of forces applied to the bike both during normal use as well as under more extreme circumstances such as sprints or climbs with high gradients. EPS by Pinarello Lab reduces weight while increasing strength. The Pinarello Lab has introduced the EPS, Expandable Polystyrene System Production Process in an effort to both increase rigidity and safeness, as well as to decrease the overall weight of the frame. Increased compaction makes for a more rigid frame, which allows you, the rider, to have greater control of the bike and lose less energy due to frame flex laterally. The EPS process allows Pinarello to eliminate extra and unnecessary material as the compaction of carbon layers is optimized, thus translating into an overall weight savings. This process also eliminates small imperfections that come about under traditional frame production methods. By eliminating these structural imperfections through EPS processes, Pinarello has improved the safety of its frames above the industry standard. Think asymmetric. Frame asymmetric to ride symmetric. The behavior of a bicycle under pedaling forces is not linear but rather asymmetrical. This is due in most part to the pedal forces being applied evenly on both right and left sides, assuming an athlete has a normal and efficient pedal stroke, although the force generated by both right and left is transferred only to the right side of the frame as the chain is located only on the drive side. During part of the pedal stroke, forces applied to the bike are opposing, and during the other part they are transferred. The right seat stay is sturdier and stronger than the left one. The right chain stay is slender near the bottom bracket and thickens towards the dropout. The left chain stay, on the other hand, is reinforced up to the bottom bracket, the classic breaking point of many frames, and thins noticeably towards the dropout. The so-called high asymmetry that compensates the pull on the handlebar comes from the lower left of the top tube. The right fork blade is significantly sturdier than the left one with a more angular form. There is deep ribbing on the right-hand side only, from the bottom bracket almost up to the head tube. This is the new Dogma 65.1. Think Pinarello. Think asymmetric.